Good morning everyone! On this wonderful blessed morning I have decided to continue with my epoxy shenanigans and make a cutting board with flowing river. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm beating a dead horse since everyone does it, but I want to learn and well, this works pretty cool. So to start this off I begin first by cleaning the pieces I will be working with. And since I do not have an angle grinder I decided to buy an attachment for drills to get the job done. Following that, I used my brand new Festool truck saw to cut a piece off to be used as an island. Watching this, I now realized what I did is very dangerous and stupid, and that I should have used the jigsaw instead. <sighs> then out comes my belt sander, and it is time to shape the island pieces properly. The piece I cut off was perfect enough already, however, it wouldn't fill up enough space, so I ended up taking two scrap pieces and using those for two additional islands, but they were blocky, so that's why I had to use the belt sander to shape them up to look like islands. And this is where I revisit my arch nemesis, the epoxy. I didn't know the correct ratio of pigment or glitter to use. I'm sure that's something I'll learn over time, so for the time being, I used what you see and actually turned out quite well, although I think for the future reference I should use just a little bit more. And time to pour comes in! I poured a total of 1.5 liters of epoxy for a total thickness of 1 and a quarter inches. And this is where you realize that I'm actually Canadian. After 3 days of drying, it was ready. I hammered the blocks used to press it down off and then smacked it out of the casing. Very surprised by how convenient it is to use the mold. I will be using it a lot more in the future. And then I used my planer to take a quarter of an inch off in order to get a perfectly smooth finish. At first I was terrified that the epoxy would just shatter from being in a planer, but surprisingly it actually worked out quite well. Once that was done, I converted this 12 by 18 inch board into 11 by 17 inch board. The cutoff pieces I actually kept, they're really fun to play with and I don't know but maybe in the future I will do something with them, we shall see. For putting finishing touches, I have chosen to make the top corners of the board rounder and for the bottom I used a fancy bit in order to give good hold space for the hands. I'm hoping to use this bit a lot more for upcoming projects since I'm starting to fall more and more in love with it. It just looks really really cool. I am actually considering buying a Festo sander since I wasn't particularly pleased with how my Bosch sander holds up to the task. Here you see me sanding starting from 100 grit and slowly going all the way up to 5000 grit. I spared you having to watch me slowly going up, it was very long process of sanding. Overall however, I wasn't too pleased with my sander's performance and I think in the future I will be upgrading since I do hope to make more epoxy projects too. Once sanding was done, I oiled the whole thing up with Osmo oiling wax and was done! This board turned out quite cool for something I made for the first time ever. There are a few things I would definitely like to improve on, such as getting pigment quantity right or sanding it well or doing fancier handholds or better top rounded corners, but for the first epoxy project I am actually quite proud with how it turned out. If you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I release videos every Saturday morning. If you have any comments, questions or advice, those are very welcome too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.